What's up, guys? Welcome back to some more cheat landers. So, I've got a good kit on, and we're gonna go lose it to some flipping cheater, probably. So, but someone wants to invite me to a room, and I need warehouse space. I don't have the room to put it away, and I don't even have the room to list it if I wanted to sell it all first to go into a room. So far, I haven't managed to sell enough gold equipment to um, to make my warehouse life a reality. I have to finish selling my gold equipment. This is the stuff I'm keeping, which it's still a lot, but like I want to keep one of each of the equipments that have good stats on them for arena and stuff so I can do different builds. Because unlike everybody else, I use different gear. <laughs> everybody else just uses one best kit with an M4, and I like to use different kits with different guns, so, alright, we're back using some old school skins, since Halloween is over, I'm a little sad about it. I like Halloween. But Thanksgiving is equally cool. Like, I'm gonna be making a homemade pumpkin pie and homemade apple pie, and we're gonna have a big turkey dinner and stuff. Also, Veterans Day is, I think, on the 11th. I think it's the 11th every year. And I get to go uh, enjoy some Veterans Day benefits, which is cool. I look forward to doing that. I just go out to a couple places. You get a couple of free meals. I usually order some drinks. And, you know, I tip really well. Because that's what you should do. They're giving you the meal for free. You should still tip the, uh... The staff. That's working their... I mean, they work their butt off on Veterans Day, too. And there is just a truckload of people out on Veterans Day. Although I haven't done Veterans Day here at the new house yet. Like last year we kind of skipped it. Because we had just got done moving and stuff, you know. And we <clears throat> weren't really situated in the house. And like the nearest towns are like an hour, hour and a half away actually go to places that offer veterans benefits because I don't think very many local places here do in these tiny towns and uh, so we just we skipped it I was just like the day came around we were making plans to like go try to do something we realized how far everything was away and I was like I just don't feel like it it's the first year I've skipped in like I don't know probably three, four years. So we didn't do it. This year, I think we're going to try. We're going to give it a shot. I like to get like a steak at Applebee's and usually some place does like free lunch stuff. There's usually like free Grand Slam at Denny's for breakfast or um, at IHOP, you can get red, white, and blue pancakes if you can get in. Their tables are almost all full the entire time. And there's a line out the door to get into IHOP, um, which sucks. But, I mean, it's probably delicious. I've never successfully got into IHOP. I always went to Denny's. You can get into Denny's. It's not as bad. My hop is like, jeez. If you want to wait three hours for breakfast, show up at like seven. I'm usually not that patient. <laughs> I don't have the patience. 
patience anymore that I used to have. I mean, when you're in the military, you really don't have a choice because everything is hurry up and wait. But now that I'm a civilian, again, uh, I don't have to wait, so I choose not to. <laughs> Just like, nah, I don't want it that bad. <laughs> I walk in. I'm like, excuse me, how long's the wait? They're like, oh, it's probably about a two-hour wait. And I'm like, yeah, all right, goodbye. <laughs> Hard pass. This dude's got to be cheating. not want to engage that A12 at that range, but he gave me no choice. Hot damn. That was rough. This dude opened orange. his whole kid. Which is worth more. carting around so we're gonna pocket a lot of that and we're gonna biggity bounce up out of here with this good stuff and try to pay for this kit Dude was trucking it around there. He was just like, YOLO, bang, bang, bang.
got them. Oh, we had a red box too. No way. Oh. Dude opened orange, got a red box, and didn't stash it. Wow. That sucks for him. Well, that pays for our kits, ladies and gentlemen. It's that easy. All right. That was a shotgun look. It's, ooh, it's ultralight, though. Nice. I was going to say it's basic, but that ultralight makes it worth it. Can't beat ultralight. Man, this dude. He lost him a red box. All I got to do is earn enough cash points to get a key. And that's like a free mill. With exposure range and unarmed. Eh, it's okay. Let's, let's price it high, though. I want to get my money's worth out of it. Ah, this ain't worth shit. Like that. Go ahead and post this guy up. I'll take 20. It'll sell at 20. What the? Son of a bitch. Alright, so. Where my shotgun's at? Let's try to... Hmm. Hold on. We'll find room. Uh, all of these can't be magless, can they? Gold. Balls. Damn. So close. Piss on a biscuit. You know what? I don't even give a shit about that. I'm gonna post that. And I've got a bunch of these rare metals up here, so we can take just a couple of those off. Sell this for 11. Um, these are all vendorable. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, what do we do? I mean, that worked out rather well. I could have planned it better. Let's go here. We'll take another one of these rare metals off. That way I can sell some shit. Hold on. I think I just heard my cats going ballistic. If it ain't my cats, somebody's about to have a bad day. And it ain't going to be me. ladies and gentlemen that's it for this one thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one later